The ear is a fabulous organ, much more sensitive than the most sophisticated measuring tool. And for my cables, for instance, it's been a long time since I've been able to measure anything. That's why I'm going to see my friend Pablo, who lives 400 miles away. So, instead of driving six hours by car, it'll only take me two hours by plane. Let's go! On this track, we connected a microphone with an ordinary cable, on this one, with the cable I came to show you. The microphones are plugged in, the birds are singing. And now, we will see if we can hear the difference between the ordinary cable and my latest cable. Cables are diabolical. They're everywhere. But I solved the problem by building a machine that I'm going to show you now. These tiny legs are separated by half a millimeter. You have to avoid to solder two together. Each component in an electronic circuit brings its own sound flavor. It may come as a surprise to see that a 40 watt amplifier takes such little space, but in fact it is the result of 30 years of research. The difficult thing is to put as few components as possible in it. You have to remain simple without being simplistic. It just so happens that, for now, the ear is a much more sensitive tool than any measuring instrument. But it doesn't really matter. One day, we'll find what is really important to measure. Today, for an amplifier, distortion measurements do not mean anything. When to be working. Everyone knows the vicious circle, but the virtuous circle is something else. It's not good enough to have a good amplifier, good speakers and a good room to get good results. It's like people. You can know highly respectable people, but they would never match if they were married. I'm very roughly putting a speaker in a cabinet to illustrate the necessity of a filtration. Everything is right from here to here, except a small resonance there that has to be eliminated at all costs, because it falls right into the first harmonics of the human voice. The commands for the lays are here. For me, mustering is like a bowl of soup. You have to be able to put the right amount of salt to eat it nicely. That's why you need precise speakers. It's all a question of finesse. There are two ways to design a speaker. Some people try to get a perfect measurement curve first and start listening after. I work the opposite way. I'll show you how we make the cabinets. The wood panels are stored here. I cut them with this saw, or this one. With our backline monitors, we found one piece of gear that can give a better comfort to the singer on stage. That means I'm giving the singer the possibility to express his art even better. Because he's more confident, he can hear better. And my passion for Ojo comes from that. The love of music and the ethical effort that seems right to me. But each time I found a solution, I discovered many new problems. And believe me, there is still a lot to be done.